So to give a structure to this discussion, uh, we want to simplify a bit things and, uh, and basically use the structure of the market, which can roughly be divided in three sectors. You have uh, uh, gold that's extracted in large-scale industrial mining operations. Uh, you have gold that comes from artisanal and small-scale miners. And then we have recycled gold. So we're going to have uh, uh, the first three guests in our, in our session talking about this three sectors, and then we will hear a point, the point of view of a group of uh, brands that operate downstream from uh, uh, them at the end of the supply chain serving the final client. I want to touch especially on three points, technology, uh, traceability, and the legal, and the legal uh, framework. Uh, Elon, uh, recycled gold clearly is becoming increasingly preferred for the reasons we have, uh, we have mentioned, but as you said, it's difficult to you gave the Chile example, but uh, uh, it's difficult to really identify and know what it is. And one issue you didn't touch upon is the issue of uh, uh, laundering, the, the gold equivalent of money laundering, right? Uh, which is also recycled gold in a way, but is problematic. So what, what's your approach on that? Yeah, so at the, um, the most important thing is we talk about KYC and then there's KYCC, know your customer's customer. Yeah. Um, so basically, first off, we, knew we need our, our client to know what we do upon them and how we verify that client. And we need to express the exact same um, theories and that system onto our own clients so they understand exactly what they're looking for, what we're looking for. We have to teach them exactly what's coming in, the questions to ask, what they're purchasing, if there's any irregular anything, any red flags. Yeah. And that's a big thing in this industry. If you can watch red flags, you can monitor it and ensure that nothing bad's coming in. Virginie, uh, refiners often keep figures to themselves, right, close to, 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 to their heart. They seem reluctant to release detailed information about the provenance, the volumes of gold, and, and so on. I assume part of it is a competitive issue, uh, but is there a possibility to, to be more open, to give more information? Well, as LVMA uh, certified uh, refiners, we are actually fully transparent. We, um, we have to, disclose, to report and disclose all our data, including the origin and uh, the volumes of every input into the refinery. Do, do you disclose it publicly or so to the authorities? That, that, that was my next point. And as part of our LBMA audit, we have to disclose all these, all these numbers. For commercially confidential reasons, we cannot disclose this data publicly. The same actor that's monitored is the one who monitors. <laughs> so who controls the controllers? The, this is a, uh, the industry, and it is a knowledgeable industry. We, we give a chance to the industry to organize itself. But it doesn't mean that uh, it is not possible that it, it changes uh, one day. So uh, I guess we, we, we better do with this soft approach uh, for our uh, own also uh, motivation and, and what we can put into this effort, uh, that rather than wait that this becomes mandatory. Yeah. I would only encourage doing this self-organization. Okay. Uh, Claire, Elon before mentioned in his short talk the word millennials. And he said, you know, we are a different generation, we, we, we have a different kind of expectations. And we have heard over and over on this stage this week that actually that's true, not only for millennials, but also the younger ones. Uh, and uh, that, that generates some level of pressure on brands. Do you feel, does, do your brands feel this pressure? Is Pomerato doing that because of similar pressure, because they need to get closer to generations with different expectations? We see a general growing interest for uh, sustainability uh, aspects in jury and watches. There's never been as many uh, press articles or reports on ethical jury as the, it's, it's been the case last yeah. year yeah. in 2018, especially around Christmas uh, time or Valentine's Day. So, and um, we, uh, we, we receive more and more questions uh, from customers uh, in stores or from journalists uh, to, uh, to explain what, uh, what we do. So definitely uh, we think that it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's the future. Uh, transparency, traceabil traceability, uh, no, no question. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's going to be the, the new normal for not only for jewelry, but for all, all industries, and especially luxury, uh, which is a, a trendsetter for yeah. uh, other sectors. Okay. 
I am going to thank you for sharing your inf information and knowledge. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. See you later. Goodbye to those who have been watching online. Thank you for coming. Thank you.